Hello, this is Jamie from randomiseuser.com with another Let's Play Savage Lands episode. This should be number 15, I think. So, we're back at the monolith. Hello! Um, and in the new build that they've just released um, onto the beta stream, um, they've started to introduce a few things that people have been waiting for for a long time. So I thought I'd have a look at them. Oh god, it's almost evening already. <laughs> Shit. Okay, what we're going to have a look, look at today is the new armour repair system and how to find your corpse when you die. And um, first of all, I mean, I've got this golden reaver. Um, I killed Lyco in the last episode. Spoilers! Um, but since then they've made uh, Lyco spawn slightly differently again. And also forest giants, apparently, as well. So, I'm also going to go off and I'm going to kill some things and see how powerful the golden reaver is. Oh, look! I've come south from the monolith. I'm um, not very far at all, actually. Just about 30 seconds or so. And look, there's a new stone tower that's materialised out of thin air since the last build. The developers have been moving these things around recently, and they wanted to find a way of marking the centre of the island. So here it is! But it's not alone, there is another. There's a second one, which you can just see somewhere <laughs> behind those trees. So that's two new towers, and you can see over there, look, there's another one over there too. So boom, boom, and... Fucking trees! What? Who left the bloody trees everywhere? And there should probably be one um, somewhere else as well. Um... There's one. Yeah, so that's... I can see about three or four of them now. So this is the centre of the island. Hooray! And then you go just a bit kind of northish, I guess, from there, and you'll find the monolith. Um, there's nothing to kill. Uh, hello? Uh, baddies? I've got a sword for you. Ah, piss. Oh, there's a bear! Oh, hello. Um, hello, Mr. Bear. Okay, that's going to be a fucking big challenge of... During these Let's Plays, I think this is the 15th one of them, and I've met a bear once. And in fact, I think that wasn't even in one of the... I think I was in the bloody guide. So, right. Um, I've got the Golden Reaver. I'm going to get its attention. Uh, by shooting somewhere over the <laughs> over his head. Shit. Oh, get bared. There he is. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Right. Golden Reaver up your bottom bear. Uh, I've got lots of armour on. Oh, ouch. Ow. Oh, it was, it was, there we go. Wow. Right, I barely touched him. Bloody hell, look, I'm still at 100% health. Uh, let's look, look at my armour. My armour has barely been scratched. I think the um, I think the, uh, the chest guard has gone down a mine a bit. But look, bloody hell. Thank God I didn't face this bastard with him. Just, oh no. Here we go. That's two hits. Killing a wolf with two hits. He's standing here. <laughs> Wow, this weapon's good! Uh, it's so powerful, in fact, that I don't... My weapons have barely been scratched. Um, and you can only repair weapons once they're actually sufficiently damaged, and mine aren't. So I think I need to go and find some more things to kill. Okay, I am now sufficiently damaged, so I can actually show you how the re repair system works. Just get back to my sexy, sexy monolith. Now, um, to open the um, repair system, you go to your crafting menu and choose the fifth tab, the crossed stone hammers. Um, and this um, this tab will show you any weapon or armour that you're currently holding. Um, so not um, absolutely everything. Um, you just actually have to be having it in your inventory or wearing it. Um, and it also shows you um, if you have enough raw materials to repair it. Um, so a repair requires raw materials similar to what you needed in the first place to craft them, but a bit less. Like the bow um, requires... Um, where is it? There it is. Requires two logs, two strong sinews and one leather hide. But to actually repair it you need a bit less. Now, a couple of things to note. If the original weapon needs a forge to build it in the first place, it'll need one now to repair it as well. So, for instance, the, um, the chest guard um, needs a forge, and thankfully I'm standing right next to one, so that's quite useful. Um, secondly, you don't actually need to have every single raw material in one go to perform a repair. You can perform small repairs using whatever you have, provided the weapon actually needs some of the material at that particular moment. Um, if you if you fully repair, say, the wood component of like the bow, um, you, then you'll need to move on to the other components before the weapon will continue to repair. So yeah, if you look at this, um, this is confusing. Um, it's a bit compl complicated. Um, the required components bit in the repair tab um, does not work like crafting. With crafting, um, let's again pull up the bloody longbow. With crafting, the number on the left um, shows you um, how much of that material that you're currently holding. Um, so, if it says 0 out of 2, 
Um, it requires two, but you don't have any in your inventory. You have zero in your inventory. Now, repairing it is actually different. It's a bit confusing. Um, if it says one out of one, um, it doesn't mean that you're carrying one. Um, what it means is um, the, the longbow is currently fully stocked up on wood. You don't need to um, apply any wood, or indeed strong sinew at the moment. The only thing the bow can actually use to repair itself at the moment is leather hide, because it has zero hide in it somehow. So yeah, it's, it is different to crafting, and I think it might catch a lot of people out, um, because the number basically on the left now means the opposite to what it does in crafting. It is bloody confusing, and I reckon they might change this at some point, so watch out for that. Um, so let's uh, let's actually um, apply what we've learned to the bow. Um, it it won't let you repair a weapon until it's sufficiently damaged enough to have lost some of the components in the first place. As you as you use the bow up, um, it'll lose bits of itself. So it'll eventually, if if I keep on using it, eventually it will need wood to repair. But at the moment, it doesn't. Oh yeah, there's another thing is um it'll only repair weapons that you can actually craft. Um, so you can't repair a stone sword, which you can't actually craft, you have to get off a undead fury. And you can't actually repair a golden reaver at the moment, which is a shame, because again, that's only a drop from a mob, uh, which is bloody irritating. So, um, this requires... the only thing I can use to repair this at the moment is leather hide, and I have one, so I can repair. Bang! And it'll take it back up to 100%, because now, as you can see, it, it's got everything it's required to be pretty much fully uh, operational. It's got its wood, it's got its sinew, and it's got its leather hide. Now, um, let's go to the, let's go to, hang on, there, there, the gauntlets. Now, it's 73% repaired. Now, um, I could repair it with a bit of ore. Um, it's fully stocked up on cloth. Um, it needs a, an entire leather hide, and it needs a bit of strong sinew. None of which I'm actually carrying. Um, let's actually pick something up. Um, do, oh, some strong sinew, there we go. Now, so I have three, um, and it requires two, so let's repair it once. Oh, it takes, takes it up to 86%. Um, but that's, um, that's used up all my strong sinew now, so it's, um, the, the item is at 4 out of 4. Um, so the, uh, to actually get it back up to like 9900%, percent i actually have to um, apply one ore and one hide, and everything will be peachy. So, uh, I appreciate that was a very long, boring staring at a lot of inventory screens, but it is... Yeah, it's, it, it requires a bit of explanation, that. Um, it's, it's a complicated system, but once you get used to it, everything's fine! Okay, the last thing to show you very quickly is what happens when you die now. Uh, because when you resurrect and you're sufficiently close to your corpse, um, you will actually be able to find your way back to the corpse quite easily. So I'm going to put that into um, into demonstration. I'm just coming. It'll just come south. I think it is south south of the monolith, and um, where the uh, where the forest giants often spawn. Um, that yeah, that's the, that's a, definitely a new thing that's put in. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Um. So let's let's go and bother the forest giant. Apparently, forest giants have also change their spawn type as well, um, as I mentioned at the start of the video. Um, but yeah, I don't know how that's actually um, been implemented. So, hello mate! Hello mate! Hello! Do your thing! No, you're supposed to kill me outright! <laughs> there we go! Right! I'm back, back, back! And look! A thing has appeared! A delicious thing! So let's go back towards it. That skull and crossbones tells you where our corpse is. So let's run back towards it. Um, this is very straightforward. It has a radius um, beyond, well, the developers say beyond 200 metres, but I've I've gone out to be out to about 280 metres away from my corpse before, and only then does this symbol fade away. And then when you go back into the radius, the symbol pops back up again. So, let's go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, let's see. The, can you have, let's, let's do a little experiment. Can you have more than one of these symbols at any one time? Let's find out by doing something stupid. I'm going to bother the forest giant again! I may fine weather we're having. Well, funnily enough, it's snowing again. Ooh! Ow! Ouchie! 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 Now, come here! Come here, mate! Come here with your spinned little stupid little fucking hands. Come on! Give me what for! There we go! And we're back again! And look! Both um, corpses now have a symbol. Now, I think corpses do eventually disappear, so... Um, they, I mean, that means the skull icons obviously have an inbuilt time limit anyway. But it's useful to know that um, if you're going to die a lot, you'll also be able to find all your corpses, not just the last one that killed you. So I'm just going to go back and retrieve, because I think um, I had a sword on one of the corpses, so I'd rather have that back. I think it was one on the left. And once I get that, everything will be peachy. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Um, 
because frankly uh, it's I've, i think i've shown you everything i need to show you in this oh god is this is going to be a bit tricky <laughs> um, um, so this has been jamie from randomized user with another let's play savage lands oh, piss 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 um so subscribe to the channel if you want more um, episodes of this and lots more besides so thanks for watching oh there it is there's my there's my stuff there's my stuff oh no he's coming oh, oh bloody hell this hasn't worked quite the way i expected ah run away run away uh yeah so goodbye thanks for watching Ow! 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 Dong! Dong! Shit. <laughs>